They know what love is. They do know what love is. That's true. That's yep. important. Yeah. Hi, Morgan. Lucky. Good morning, y'all. Mm. So uh, Morgan gave a guy a chance. Now, before we uh, we get into this uh, this latest date, see how that went. Uh, apparently, only a third of Tinder users are even single. <laughs> oh, that checks out. Yeah, yeah. They, they did a survey of is Tinder users. New, what was that? Have Affairs website? Oh, Ashley Madison. Ashley. Oh, is this God. a new Ashley Madison? Yeah, but it's so public. I That's surprising. So, you would think that somebody's uh, you know, partner's friend would see right. them oh, on there or yeah. something like that. 65% said they're in a relationship or married. These are people on Tinder. Jeez. Now, obviously, those people aren't in happier relationships, I'm assuming. Some are of those people might be looking to upgrade or maybe just cheat. I know, but um, that still means that half of Tinder users aren't looking for dates at all. So, like, why are they even on there was the question. And according to the poll, a few reasons. Because they're bored and they want a distraction. There's other ways to, yeah, alleviate boredom. I know. (laughs) Others say judging people's looks is a form of entertainment. (laughs) It is. I could see that. And uh, for others, it's getting a little ego boost, even if you're not looking to date. Ugh. Like, e- oh, yeah, like no. people on, people oh. look how many so guys are wasting into me. everybody's time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Where was the answer of like just to bang? I thought that would be the number one. Is that Tinder? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's Tinder's what I hear. Like the hookup one? Yeah. I think so. I know Hinge is like the relationship one. Hinge and yeah. uh, Bumble is the one that Seabass yeah. talks about where you know women have to make the first move. Yep. You know, so unless you're like a woman out there looking to slam, right. probably, that's not ben probably won. not the. Exactly. Mm. Then go to What's Tinder, the, Oh, plenty of fish. Right. Oh, that that, that one's supposed to, like I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. Okay, Cuban. I, <laughs> I know. Uh, here's the bottom of the barrel. Seabass was talking about plenty of fish. It's just like the dirty trailer park one, right? Oh yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, that's it's the yeah. juggalo of. <laughs> I have a. It's where juggalos go to <laughs> a me. Dating. App. I have a relative who was on plenty of fish looking for a legit girlfriend. Recently, and said he had a car, and their response was congratulations. Uh, like, yeah, that's how bottom of the barrel it, it was. Like, whoa, uh, you have a car? That's awesome. <laughs> Good for you. You're doing well. Where did you meet Mario? Because you guys met online. That right? was OK Cupid. Oh, that was OK Cupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which what? That's a relationship one too, or I yeah? Don't yeah. know. Oh I, no, I no. Mean, I thought it was. That one is just above plenty just, of fish. Okay. Oh. So it you was, lucked out. I know it was great for for what I needed yeah. it for. Yeah. Well done. Awesome. So, uh, where did you meet this person? On Tinder. This is Tinder. Okay. I am strictly on Tinder. Yeah. I don't like Bumble because I don't want to message them first. And I'm kind of like. Too lazy? Yeah. I'm like the worst part of person on the dating apps. I get on them because I'm bored. You okay. Know? So. What does that cost these days to be on Tinder? It's free. Oh, it is? But is yeah. it free for chicks and they just charge dudes? It's free for everyone, but I think there's options. There's like an upgrade. Mostly version. guys do it where you can upgrade and actually pay for it. Okay. Super like. Yeah, because yeah. women don't need that ah. kind of assistance. No. no. And then you can right. see like who likes you before you like them or, you know, oh. see their location yeah. and yeah, oh, some other things. that's yeah. disturbing. So uh, Morgan, kind of picky. You know, considering what she's looking for, she doesn't want to be married. She's not looking to have kids or anything like that. She's looking right. to have fun. Not yet. You would think like somebody who's out there just looking to have fun would be less picky than she is. And Crazy. so we said, well, what if this is like uh, this is now three dates ago? We said, what if you gave a guy like maybe like if you went and tried to give one of these guys a chance you normally would swipe left on, like maybe you're just being, you know. Maybe you're just being too give a, picky. Give a guy a chance. Give a guy a chance. And so she did have the first one. And that was uh, that was the uh, that was the one guy who wanted to be married and have kids. And, and it went he well. was looking to diamond level up. status at Caesar. Oh. I know diamond status at Caesar. That was him. That's yeah. the guy that got away. And and Morgan Mistakes. he was. And, and Morgan really liked him, except for like it turns out she really did like him, except for that whole wanted to be married and have kids thing. Right. Then the next guy. And he was a two. Yeah, and well, he was But then cute. he ghosted you, though. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, you, know. you talk all the smack, but he ghosted you. And I'm not saying I'm a supermodel or, like, you know, a catch. So, yeah, he ghosted me. I know, but, <laughs> but you Greg, guys want a different thing. Yeah, but Greg yeah. was super hard on that guy. Yeah, he was just. Greg ugh. was borderline yeah. grossed out by him. Kind of. And then uh, the second guy um, had an interesting profile picture, right? Like, right. He, he looked really good in the profile picture that turned out he. Was married, married or was that yeah. another, at least a girlfriend? Yeah, he was uh, and she was in hitting, a relationship, you know, fiance. And she ended with up the hitting kid. Up Morgan. Yeah. And I love right. how yeah. you showed the picture to us, and Woody was the one that noticed that he had a wedding ring in the phone. Yeah. I didn't even notice till that moment. <laughs> yeah. And I that was like a Facebook picture, and it was like, oh my God, how did I, I wasn't I miss checking that? out his abs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I tried to cheat yeah. the system with that last one and go with a cuter guy. 
Okay. It just didn't have, you know, the personality I was looking for. All right. So what about this one? Date this number one, three. This one. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm done with this. guys. <laughs> this was tough. I'm going to pass around my phone so you can get a good look at him. Right. Um, please rate him mm-hmm. for us, Greg. He's got Lil Dicky vibes, if you guys know who that is. Yeah. 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 He definitely looks like an actor. Like, he definitely has Jeremy Allen white hair from the bear. It's all oh, curly yeah. like that. All right, Greg, yeah. describe it for I have not um, seen it yet. This guy looks like he shops at REI. Yeah. Where's right. Patagonia? Uh, m- yeah, he's really into hiking. Yeah, he looks Maybe. like he's definitely yeah. an outdoorsman. Yeah, he looks, looks yeah. healthy. I mean, yeah, from the what you can see from the shoulders mm-hmm. up, he's in good shape. Uh, um, swipe and see the last picture. You like, get a nice picture of his got body. Like a good. Uh, oh, the first one's the best picture. The next one, <laughs> is his it? complexion is a little questionable. It looks tired. Um, Little no, Dicky is a good comparison. But he's yeah. got longish hair, I guess. Um, Kind of curly, wavy hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, five o'clock shadow. Looks. He yeah. looks kind of. He's a decent looking looks dude. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not uh, bad. Yeah. yeah, he's my. Yeah. You know, and a lot of things you can see on the profile before you even get to the date. So that's nice. Yeah. So why would um, you normally swipe left on that guy? I don't think he's cute at all. Oh, no. really? Yeah, he kind of cool. looks like I, think I don't he's know. Definitely cute. He looks like he works at a non-coffee chain. Yeah, he looks yeah. too yeah. hipster for me. Yeah. I guess yeah. Okay. that's okay. What it is. All right. Um, here you go, Woody. I saw. So I set up a little coffee date with this guy and ready to go blah blah, blah. about 30 minutes before he texts me he says hey can we do tomorrow instead uh, oh, my oh my god this is not a good hour start before. that's I'm like, already a red flag i'm like don't you know i'm doing this for a bit come on now <laughs> <laughs> so don't i was you already, i'm using you right normally i wouldn't care or just cancel um but i was like okay tomorrow's fine so i already went into it with a bad attitude i'm gonna admit that because i didn't mm-hmm. want to go in the first place and he bailed on me the first time uh, so next day comes along, we go, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said, just nothing special. He's not, you know, I'm looking for someone taller than me. I'm 5'10". He's my exact height. Uh, very like, someone described it, granola looking. Yeah. Uh, like a hipster, yeah. like a hiker. Patagonia, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. then yeah. so we sit down, grab a coffee or whatever, and he would not shut up about being a writer in the entertainment industry. Oh, no. Because right now, there's yeah. a lot of strikes going on. Um, so he would not stop talking about how like, oh yeah, that's my passion. Da, 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 that's what I do, but I don't know what's going to happen and on and on and so on. So is that his on. job or is that something that he's aspiring to? Kind of both. Like, I guess he said he did some work in it. Okay. You know, so what's his actual job? Now he works in a bank. Like I didn't uh, ask specifically, uh, but I think you most know, of what writers have a day job. Right. I thought he was going to say like Lyft or Uber or something. So right. bank, I guess, whatever. But you know, I'm just sitting there and he talk the whole time i didn't really talk at all which is good i guess because the whole time or the whole point of me doing this is to learn about them <laughs> so um, he didn't ask you any questions about he yourself did, like a little bit you and know he'd be like say? so what do you do you work yeah. in the entertainment industry and like I danced around saying what i actually do yeah. um <laughs> i don't want him to hear this mm-hmm. um and we talked about you know pets and stuff like that and we live in the same area like within two miles of each other. So mm. we kind of talked about the area and lit. You Show know. me a picture of your retarded looking dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I should have. I don't like when people do that. He probably has an animal too, but like I'm not yeah. interested in seeing well, your I animal. I figured since you guys are talking about animals right. and pets. Yeah. And stuff. Um, no, so it just went on and on and on. And he's into. Um, what did he say? I can't even remember. He was so boring. I think this is a fair <laughs> question. If it was a legit first date and it yeah. wasn't just a setup. What do you expect to talk about? I mean, you're going to talk about jobs, your pets, your right, yeah, yeah all that kind of surface like, level stuff. What else mm-hmm. would you talk about? That's it. Or and what do you expect to talk about? I, yeah, what do you want to talk about? But what was so off putting? Because like you're like, oh god, right? So boring. Well, it's the fact that he like uh, pushed the date off to the next day. Yes, but I understand things that you know or things come he, up. He had a, another match that he wanted. Yeah, to try what out if first? he found someone hotter? And he's oh no, like, he definitely oh, no, did. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Um, no, it's just the fact that I'm not attracted to him physically and I didn't want to go in the first place. So then for him to change the day on me and then you know, it was just a whole chore. I think in the back of my, I was trying to get over the fact that like I'm doing this to get out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And I was just not. And there were nothing in the pro column, like, you know, sitting there tight, like everybody's got like, nobody's perfect, but all this, nobody's right. all bad. Pro column is he's following his dreams. I can appreciate someone that does that, hmm. you know, and like. <laughs> You know, really? Okay. Why are you laughing? Because no one's going to say, yeah, I've given up. <laughs> really Even though they be, should. I uh, really wanted to be in the NBA, but yeah. that's not happening. Yeah, I blew out my knee. Yep. Insurance sales. Well, the so, way he was talking about being a writer, he sounded like he was about to give up. But, you know, I, 
respect anyone out there making a life for themselves. Be a hundred percent honest because you keep on going back to how he looked. Yeah. Even no matter what he said, would you? That's the problem. See? Yeah, I would have been, you know, not interested either way. Now, what is it about his look? Is it the the hair? Yeah, it's the hair. It's the yeah, height. He's got kind of like that surfer hair. Yeah. Yeah, know? but he and definitely has he... a more hiking look to him, though. Yeah. And if you look little... up a picture of Little Dicky, uh, yeah. you will definitely see. I mean, I, that is a pretty good comparison. Yeah, which I like Little Dicky. He has a funny personality. Okay, but and do you I find was hoping, him attractive? Like, no, I don't. But he's one of those guys, like people say money. about Pete Davidson. Yeah. I don't care about money. But, you uh, know, if you're funnier, it makes you a little bit hotter. Right. But now, this how does guy, this... I, would, I didn't laugh at all. So how does this end? Because that was always the thing, like, man, when you're in the dating world and, like, something's not going well, like, the the wrapping it up and trying to leave on a, that's on a, positive, a positive note, note is so, like, that to me is nerve-wracking. That's I can get up I on think... stage at, like, a festival or whatever and announce a band, no problem. I'm not, like, weird or nervous about that. But something like that really gives me anxiety. Just sure. even the thought of something like that. That's why like you that. give it a time limit, I think. That's why so, I do coffee, because I don't want to be yeah, you know, with the whole in, meal or whatever. Right? So how, does, how does that end? It just, you know, I say, hey, I got to run. Da-da, and I blame it on I have a really early work schedule. It's uh, like, hey, I got to go walk my dog and get ready for bed. This was like 3 p.m. Yeah. I got an early <laughs> call time, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speak his lingo. Uh, but to go back to your thing, Greg, like, what do you expect to talk about yeah. on a first date? That's just a me thing, which I shouldn't be going on dates because I don't want to do the small, like, getting to know you talk. I really, I think it's a waste of time. So no matter who I was talking to, I really. So what you're saying is there's no hope for you. Yeah, basically. (laughs) 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 But I'm not sad about that. You're not going to ever meet anybody if you can't do the small talk. That's true. That's how you get to know somebody. Right, which that's just like jump into like an old, you know, known each other forever relationship, just banging all the time, or just you know, okay, be with myself my whole life. So, going in your past dating life, like how did it work? Because I know that you go to like clubs and right, and I've had bars, and usually it's hard to have small talk there because it's so loud. Are you just? straight going from zero to like hookup and that's how it's working out <laughs> no no i yeah. mean sometimes but no um i'll talk a little bit usually it's like friend groups that have friend groups so it's like mutual mm-hmm. friends of friends that's been my you know most recent experience or like i've been known to meet people at festivals and then hook up right and then okay. you just keep in touch with that. <laughs> see i'm totally getting stinking thinking from you because you even said at the very beginning of this like the whole point is to step outside of your comfort zone so if you go into it with a bad attitude as opposed to hey i'm doing this to try to see if i can find anything right good about it yep. so you're 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 blowing yourself up before you even right. get yeah, there because the jump. i'm going back to my initial question you're just like oh the reason you didn't even pay attention to what he was saying because you weren't attracted to him right. physically you already knew what he looked like right ahead of time sure so you have to open up your mind yeah, I think you're actually doing this have all a conversation wrong. you're doing this all wrong <laughs> well, this guy's not blameless because he doesn't have the one thing we always say be tall yeah uh, true he needs yeah. some lips. Well, he's, he's not helped. short he's yeah. average height Five, ten. And he's, yeah. Yeah, all that's the ladies short. are looking for six foot get but be tall oh, yeah guys okay. break go to get that leg breaking surgery yeah <laughs> <laughs> put some lips in there some lips for a year oh, while yeah. you heal yeah done all right. Well, Morgan, better luck next time. Yeah, I'll have a better attitude. At least, at least, it, on me. At least it wasn't married. Yep, hey, we'll this was that's the most good. normal guy. Yeah. You know. For a segment called Give a Guy a Chance, here's an idea. Give a guy, Give a a guy, guy a chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a good idea. Exactly. <laughs>